Hello there. Welcome to part 4 of this tutorial. Today, I'm going to be adding a restart button. Hope you enjoy. Let's start by creating a game over menu. This will display a restart button that will reload the scene when it is pressed. Create another scene and add a canvas layer. This will be the menu. Next, add a texture button. This will display an image that can be pressed. I'll add an image to the button. Move the button so that it's in the center of the screen. That looks good. Now we can add a script to the menu. I'll add a game over signal. Basically, this will allow other scripts to receive the signal without being part of the scene. Now let's add a game over function. What this function will do is automatically show the texture button. Let's connect a pressed signal to the menu script. What this function will do is, when pressed, emit the game over signal. It will then reload the game. Then, it will hide the texture button until the player dies. Remember to turn the visibility off. Now we can add another signal to the player. I'll name the signal hit. We can add it to the function we made in the last video. This will emit the hit signal when the player is hit by an obstacle. Now we can add the menu to the main scene. Let's add a script to the main scene. Add the player's hit signal to the menu script. This function will show the game over menu when the player is hit. Let's try it out. Great! The menu is visible and will reload the game. There is one problem, though. The score won't be reset. We can fix this by resetting the score back to zero when the game is reloaded, in the menu. Use the global variable and set the score to be 0 when the texture button is pressed. Perfect! The score got reset after I pressed the button. Thanks for watching. I know this was a short one, but I hope you enjoyed. See you in the next video.